What's with the sudden obsession with reducing gun violence instead of violence in general? Let's be honest, people die every day from knife violence, domestic violence, gang violence, hammer violence. But for some reason, everyone is laser locked on gun violence. Wouldn't it make more sense to focus our energy on stopping the root cause of violence in general? But then again, why would we do that when it's just so easy to point your finger at the gun and make ourselves feel better, like we're doing something? And Lord knows we love to feel like we're doing something. Coney 2012, anyone? What's the difference between the current gun control movement to stop violence in America versus Coney control to stop violence in Uganda? Why the hell would millions of people be concerned with one man halfway across the globe when there's a violence problem right down the street? I'll tell you, because it's easier. The TV told you, remove Coney and we stop the violence in Uganda. And all you have to do is send money. The TV is telling you guns are the reason for violence in America now. But never mind getting to the root issue, just throw money at it. Well, in this case, just let the government handle it. Because God forbid you actually take the time to pay attention to the disturbed young man living down the street, or actually give a damn what goes on in the inner city. Or, wait for it, take responsibility for your own safety. Nope, gun control is easier. Banning that scary looking AR-15 killing machine makes you feel warm and fuzzy on the inside, even though an overwhelming majority of gun deaths are committed with handguns. But background checks didn't stop Sandy Hook. Gun-free zones didn't stop Virginia Tech. And an assault weapons ban wouldn't stop the 500 plus violent deaths in Chicago just last year. But you want to put these measures in place because they make you feel good, all the while stripping the single mother next door of her ability to protect herself. You don't know about the woman who has to walk to and fro work through a bad neighborhood every night. You don't know about the young lady who has to protect her land and her ranch down in South Texas from drug cartel members with fully automatic rifles. You don't know about that. You are not in a position to tell people how to protect themselves if you don't know what they go through on a daily basis. The real question is how serious are we about protecting kids and ourselves? Because if we're serious, and I mean really serious, that means we have to take a look at not only the people around us, but at ourselves. What happens when you take the gun out of gun violence? That's right, you still have violence. Gun control isn't a solution. It's a Band-Aid on a bullet hole. 